How is everybody doing? We're going to take a look at Elvis Costello on Demon from 1977 to 1986. Elvis Costello in my mind is one of the most prolific and underrated songwriters to come out of the punk area, Britain. Um, he's worked with everybody, uh, he's respected by everybody, um, he's Fantastic songwriter, um, composer. I've always been a fan uh, for the last 20 years anyway. And um, his stuff is um, certainly worth investigation. I would put him up there with um, Paul Simon and sometimes Paul McCartney. Um, he's brilliant knack um, for melody. And um, yeah, he's one of the greatest. So let's check out the albums right now. So it all starts with My Aim Is True. Uh, this is from 1977. This was the height of punk rock. Um, of course, um, Elvis Costello wasn't really a punk artist at all. Um, his writing was better than that. <laughs> um, you can see on the cover here that he can easily be mistaken for Buddy Holly. <laughs> um, yeah. This is a great album. It's Elvis Costello, not Elvis Costello and the Attractions, which is the band that um, he had backing him up um, for the first uh, decade. But uh, the band on this are actually um, the band that became Huey Lewis and the News. I think they're the News. Um, so yeah, this stuff is quite sparse, uh, you know, guitar, bass, drums, organ or keyboard, and um, it's quite energetic. Uh, welcome to Working Week. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great track. It's only 1 minute 22 seconds. Uh, the songs are quite short. Um, watching the Detectives is also on this. Um, so Mystery Dance, Less Than Zero. There's extra tracks on this because this is a 1993 uh, reissue uh, on Demon and um, plenty here for everybody. Nice disc as well. Metallic, transparent. And there's um, Steve Notes where he goes through um, Poster. Steve notes where he talks about the, the songs and stuff like that. So um, it's a great package. And the audio sounds good as well. Um, let's just check out the uh, personnel. Uh, Elvis Costello guitar and vocals. John McPhee guitar and pedal steel. Sean Hopper piano and organ. Johnny Chiambotti bass. Mickey Shine drums. Um, e C. Nick Lowe, Sean Hopper and Johnny Cambotti backing vocals. Um, yeah, so I think uh, Elvis was writing songs when he was working as a computer programmer for I think, um, Elizabeth Arden Cosmetics in London. So yeah, there you go. Uh, great album and uh, definitely Work investigation, but it's not his best. Next up is this year's model. This is from 1978, and there we have um, Elvis himself. His real name is Declan McManus, by the way. What a nice Hasselblad camera. Um, again, this is the uh, Demon reissue from 93, and it's got loads of extras on it. Um, no action is on this. Pump it up. That was a, a single. Um, I don't want to go to Chelsea. You would have heard that. Um, Lipstick Vogue Night Rally. This is a kind of a, an energetic album. Um, the attractions actually play on this. Um, the band, his new band. Um, he's had a lot of output. Um, you know, a lot of B sides. Uh, that weren't on albums and stuff like that. So uh, here we have the attractions. Um, there we 
go. Um, the attractions are Bruce Thomas on bass, Pete Thomas drums, um, Steve Naive on keyboards, and uh, it's produced by Nick Lowe. Um, again, poster on this one. And uh, again, spiel about the tracks and the, uh, the B sides. So, uh, this is a good album. Um, kind of a new wave sound to it, urgency. Armed Forces. This was released in 1979. Um, and the attractions is added to the name here on the front. This is a great album. Um, I think. Going by the vinyl, side one is actually one of the best sides of an album I've ever heard. Accidents Will Happen, that's a great track. Senior Service, Oliver's Army, that was a a big hit back then. Um, big Boys, Green Shirt, I love that one as well. Party Girl, Goon Squad, uh, Sunday's Best, that's another one. The lyrics are good, uh, you know, they're about um, social issues and racism and all that kind of stuff, political and then you got the extra as well um my funny valentine tiny steps clean money walking in the dark and there's a couple of live tracks then allison live um another great track by by him um, i think this came on vinyl in a kind of a messed up sleeve it used to kind of fall apart um, some good graphics on them as well yeah, I think they've kind of copied it here. <laughs> um, again, there's some um, interesting uh, sleeve notes. And all that. Um, so yeah, Armed Forces is kind of a anti... An anti war album I guess um, and it's a good one at that next up is Get Happy this is from 1980 kind of a Motown feel to this one and um, lots of tracks on it and uh, some great ones like that um, it's kind of done backwards or something like that it's a bit strange um, Love for Tender Opportunity Imposter um, there's one good one here New Amsterdam yeah that was a single that's a good one High Fidelity is another good one as well I Can't Stand Up For Falling Down um, Motel Matches that's a great track uh, about um, somebody having an affair I Stand Accused and then there's some uh, extra tracks and um, the whole disc clocks in to 30 tracks um, superb really yeah these are quite good I mean like I said the uh, sound quality is very good on these um, even reissues um, I bought all these about 20 years ago um, lots of writing on this one lots of essay <laughs> and description um, so yeah um, very good album very enjoyable Trust. This was recorded in late 1980, um, released in 1981. Uh, this is a superb album. Um, totally underrated. I only listened to it again recently and I was blown away by it. There's some great uh, songs. The variety of material is quite good. Club Land is on this. That's a great track. Um, Lover's Walk. Watch Your Step. That's another good one. Um, from a whisper to a scream um, that's a duet with Chris Difford from Squeeze um, yeah great 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 track um, again there's some uh, extra tracks on this one and um, Love for Sale by Cole Porter is covered here um, Yeah, it's a great album. Mm. Great sound as well. Drums sound great on it. Mm. 
he was riding high at this stage. Um, the songs were getting better and better. And uh, Trust is a good album. But then again, um, also in 1981, he kind of shocked the um, record buying public with Almost Blue. And this is um, his country, his country music album. Um, it's excellent. Um, produced by Bill Shirell. Um, yeah. A lot of covers on this one. Uh, Sweet Dreams. I'm Your Toy. Um, that's a great track. Originally by the um, Flying Burrito Brothers. Good Year for the Roses. That was a single off this album. There's some live tracks then as well here. Live in Aberdeen. Great album. Um, if, if you um, go onto YouTube, there's um, a documentary on the making of this album, and it's excellent. You know, it's real mature country with um, great pedal steel playing and strings. Uh, yeah. He's there with uh, Bill Shirell and George Jones. Legends of Country. Um, can I see? Yeah, it's a great album. Um, inspiration um, to me at the time. Next up is Imperial Bedroom. This is, without a doubt, Elvis Costello's masterpiece. Um, it's certainly my favourite album from him. It's the reason why every single song on it is a cracker. Sessions took place in late 1981. The album was originally released in 82, around July I think. Um, he's still not even 30 here. And the lyrics are very mature. Lots of themes covered, mainly love, deception, deceit, infidelity. And obviously the author himself um, is speaking from experience. <laughs> I read his book. The book is fantastic. There's 15 tracks on the original album and every single one of them. Incredible. Beyond Belief, excellent track with great lyrics. Tears Before Bedtime. Uh, Shabby Doll, that's another great one. Long Honeymoon. Man Out of Time, it's a classic. Almost Blue. It's not to be confused with the uh, Almost Blue album itself. Um, kind of a slow, kind of burning jazzy type track. And in Every Home, there's a nod to um, the Beatles on that. Uh, the album was produced by Geoff Emerick, who also worked um, with the Beatles and George Martin. In fact, this was recorded um, in Air Studios, I think, next door to um, where Paul McCartney was recording his first solo album of the 80s, Thug of War. The Loved Ones, Human Hands, Kid About It, Little Savage, Boy With A Problem, Pigeon English, You Little Fool, Town Crier. It's just a fantastic album. There's amazing um, little melodies. This is um, a reissue that came with um, um, 23 extra tracks, um, food and drink for people like me who love this album. Um, he ne you know, he never topped this again. Um, if, if, if you're only going to buy one Elvis Costello album, I mean, The Greatest Hits is a good one, I guess, but this is just something else. Yeah. Love it. Um, and it's criminally underrated. Uh, you know, uh, you never really hear people talking about this. Um, I just think that this album is nearly better than everything that came out of the 80s. You know, as songs go, the melodies go. Um, <laughs> so we already get those discs. CD back into the, the box. No, I just think this is, you know, it's a masterpiece. It's up there with Sgt. Pepper's. I don't care who disagrees with me, but it's a fantastic album. And 
if you're remotely interested in Elvis Costello, you need to go out and buy this album today, play it, and you will, if you don't like it, there's something seriously wrong with you. Next up is Punch the Clock. This is from 1983. Um, when I bought this after listening to Imperial Bedroom, I was a bit disappointed. Um, the songs are still good on it, but the production is completely different. I think it's um, Clive Langer and Alan Winstanley. Um, people who were responsible for um, Madness and a few more 80s bands like that. Um, I think they were in a band called The Boxes or something. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, so the production is a little bit more click clack. You know, it's. I guess I think their production methods were a building block, you know, each part of the track. Um, but it's not bad, you know, there's some, some good stuff on it. Um, Clive Langer, Alan Winstanley. Um, they also produced um, Dexies and um, the Teardrop Explodes. There's some good stuff on this. Uh, what's the track? Shipbuilding. That's a great track. Um, Every day I write the book is another good one as well. Pills and Soap. That's a bit of an unusual track. Um, quite inventive for Elvis. Um, but... Uh, Chet Baker plays trumpet on shipbuilding. Um, famous uh, jazz trumpeter. Um, yeah, this one is, like I said, a, a, it's not bad. It's not nowhere near as good as um, Imperial Bedroom, unfortunately, but still good Elvis Costello album. Next up is Goodbye Cruel World. This was released in 1984, and when you read the sleeve notes, he says, uh, thanks for buying our worst album. Um, and it is kind of uneventful material. He was kind of going into the doldrums at the time. Um, you know, the identity crisis and stuff like that. The Only Flame in Town, that's not a bad track. I think um, Dal Hall from Hall & Oates is on it. Again, there's a load of um, extras on this. It never really grabbed me. I don't know, is it because <laughs> he already warned us off? I don't know. Um... Yeah, so you know, I don't really, I haven't listened to it for a long time. You can see Daryl Hall there. There was a video made for that track. Um, yeah, it's maybe some more investigation down the track. But um, what, uh, what what's on it? Um, I want to be loved. That's a good track. Yeah, it was made in um, Flinders Street uh, railway station in Melbourne. Um, you can see all the clocks outside. Um, it's funny. He must have been on tour or something. So yeah, that's it. But anyway, other than that, that's goodbye, cruel world. Next up is King of America. Um, this was released in 1985. Uh, this is kind of mature Elvis Costello. Um, he was, you know, becoming more serious songwriter. The stuff is a little bit um, more mature. You know, like the people, like the heroes he looked up to. Brilliant mistake. There was a single from this. Don't let me be misunderstood. Another cover, as far as I know. It's not bad. It kind of glided over my head a little bit. Um, it's still a good album, but it's a little bit more mature. Um, and there's um, an extra in this one. Just some live stuff. Um, some serious uh, musicians here James Burton, Jerry Sheff, Jim Keltner, T Bone Barnett, Mitchell Froome, T Bone Wilk, Michael Blair, Ralph Kearney. So, yeah, he was um, This um, doesn't seem to have um, ever. Oh, okay, uh, the blurb is here on this one. Um, lots to read as well. So, um, uh, but it's an album 
but you know, I haven't listened to an awful lot. Um, I kind of lose interest in it. Um, oh, CD boxes are just so difficult to get the uh, booklets back in without damaging. That's King of America for you. Blood and Chocolate, this was released in 1986. Um, this is a kind of a rockier, harder sound to it. It was recorded on a sound stage. Uncomplicated. Um, hope you're happy now. It was on this Tokyo Storm Warning. I Want You was on this. Um, I remember hearing that for the first time in 1986 on the radio late at night. And it's a chilling ballad of um, an affair and uh, cheating. And it is quite um, probably the rawest um, You've Done Me Wrong song ever. Um, again, there's extra tracks on this. Um, this is mature. That was Costello. He was getting pretty serious in the mid 80s. Um, and um, I think after this, the, um, he dumped the attraction. Um, just moved away from them for a while. With all the, um, the lyrics, and then there's a few other tracks. There's a cool um, thing he used to do live in concert. Uh, he had a wheel with all his songs on it, and he spin the wheel, and whichever um, song um, was indicated, he would then um, sing that song. Um, Tom Petty is here. Um, Tom Waits. I think that looks like uh, Coit O'Riordan from the Pogues. I think he was married to her. Yeah, so there you go. That's um, blood and chocolate. Um, and it's the final one on Dima. Okay, now I have a bonus treat on this video as I'm at it. And these are the uh, singles, volume one, two, and three. I uh, bought these, oh, I don't know, 2008 or something like that. Let's check them out. Right, uh, volume one. Love these kind of things. They're a bit silly, you know, a bit unnecessary. Uh, a lot of work goes into them, but um, they can become quite expensive. Um, and they go out of print, and um, there you have it. Less than zero, Radio Sweetheart. Um, Alison, welcome to the Welcome Week. Um, Red Shoes, The Mystery Dance, Watching the Detectives, and then there's three live tracks on that. Um, next one is I Don't Want to Go to Chelsea. Um, you Belong to Me, a Stranger in the House. Neat, neat, neat. Pump it up. Big tears. Radio, radio. Tiny steps. Talking in the dark. Wednesday week. All of his army. My funny Valentine. Great photos. Um, accidents will happen. That's a great track. Talking in the dark, Wednesday week. Um, I can't stand up for falling down. Girls talk. Two. Um, oh yeah, the booklet just just got some um, spiel on the uh, single. It's great. Discs are the same. Um, high fidelity, getting mighty crowded. Clown time is bleh. clown time is over. Number two. New Amsterdam. Doctor Luther's assistant. Ghost train. Just a memory. That would have been an EP. Um, 
Club Land. Clean Money, Hoover Factory. From a whisper to a scream, Luxembourg. Good year for the roses. Your angel steps out of heaven. Um, sweet dreams. Psycho life. I'm your toy. That's a great track. Love it. Um, been the B-sides. Well, it's an EP again, I'd say. Um, cry, cry, cry. Um, wondering. My shoes keep walking back to you. Blues keep calling. Honky tonk. Uh, these could be based on the 12-inch uh, singles, I'd say. Um, you little fool. That was a single from Imperial Bedroom. Big sister. Stamping ground. Um, Man Out of Time, Tom Cryer, alternate version, Man Out of Time, DJ Edit, Imperial Bedroom. Yeah, Imperial Bedroom itself doesn't appear on the album. Um, I think Anna Real is it, from ABBA, um, recorded that for her solo album. Um, yeah. From Head to Toe, The World of Broken Hearts. Party Party, that was from um, a soundtrack to a movie from 1982. Um, Imperial Bedroom was on the B side of that as well. Pills and Soap. Um, Pills and Soap extended version. And volume three. Um, Every day I write the book, uh, again based on the 12 inch I reckon. Um, Heathen Town, Night Time, Every Day I Write the Book, Extended Mix, Every Day I Write the Book, Special Version, Every Day I Write the Book. Probably versions from all the formats that would have been released. Um, yeah. Let Them All Talk, The Flirting Kind, Let Them All Talk, Extended Remix. Um, Peace in Our Time. Withered and died. Um, I want to be loved. Turning the town red. I want to be loved. Extended. Smoochy and runny version. I want to be loved. Version. Discotheque. Yeah, so there you go. Um, the only flame in town. The comedians. Baby, it's you. With Nick Lowe. The only flame in town. Version. Discotheque. Pump it up. 1984 dance mix. Um, yeah. People's limousine. They'll never take her love from me. Uh, the Coward Brothers. He's come up with some names sometimes as well for different projects, you know. Um, funny, like that. Don't let me be misunderstood. Mm, and uh, baby's got a brand new hairdo. Get yourself another fool. Don't let me be misunderstood live. Yeah. It's a cover version, you know that. Tokyo Storm Warning. The cover of the Daily Mirror from June 19th, 1986. Um, part 1. Black Sails in the Sunset. I want you. Um, I hope you're happy now. Blue Chair. American Without Tears, number 2. Shoes Without Heels. And finally... A town called Big Nothing, really Big Nothing. Return to Big Nothing, a town called Big Nothing, the Long March. So there you go. That's it. This has only um, 11 because there is no more singles. So that's the end of the demon period. I think he signed to Warner Brothers after that and the rest is history. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and take care.